Well guys, we have been shut up at home trying to avoid contracting the coronavirus. So now we are out fishing. We're super stoked. Wow. Okay, we are gonna make a very silly video because that's just us, we're kind of goofy. But I just wanna say ahead of time, um, our hearts go out to everybody who's either contracted it or had any loved ones that have passed away from it. It obviously is very serious on our way down here. Um, I mean, I know everybody's out fishing and that's awesome, but we definitely took precautions. Um, we've stayed away from people and um, we definitely wore gloves and used sanitizer on the way down here. But we wanna make you a really awesome fishing video because hopefully the fish are still biting. So we're gonna get into that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Okay, so we just had some water come through. Um, it rained pretty hard. So the water's not moving too fast, but they're letting out the dam right now. So we're just going to, I'm gonna drop the perch down and then we just got some new lures. Uh, we'll show you in a minute. Uh, got the bait pole rigged up behind me on a perch. We got my GT360s. This is the size we're using today. Um, we had a guy the other day using some white, uh, white lures uh try, swim baits trying to get striper and he caught a pretty large striper so we always do the gray color but today for a little while i'm gonna start casting this white and just see how it goes just a little fishing etiquette people suck <laughs> don't leave your trash and dead fish laying around it's not cool man we like have to keep the not population cool. safe and protect and clean our areas because this is not good for fishes and we want fishes. Another thing is it's like, oh yeah, this is an awesome spot. Look how awesome it is, the water's really clear. Oh wait, Frito bag, big red. Not cool, guys, not cool. Don't do it, don't be that guy. Just don't. To all my fishing ladies out there, I am super stoked to use this here lure because it has sparkles in it, just like my nails, yay. <laughs> I am so sorry we missed the footage, but this happened kind of quickly. I was just fishing with a brand new GT white lure swim bait. Super yeah, stoked. This, I literally saw this hog jump in, like at my lure. I saw the whole thing happen. And then I set the hook. This is my personal best for a largemouth so far. We're about to measure him away on, but he's a fatty. I'm so excited. All right. Look at that. Nice, babe. GT360 the sparkly white baits, man. This is a good sized fish. First, like, big old largemouth of the season. I'm so excited. That's awesome. He's pretty. Good fish. Good fish. It's a good fish. <laughs> this is definitely a personal best for me as far as largemouth goes. So, we're going to go ahead and just measure him and weigh him. Just to see what we're working with. Alright, let me see. Yeah. There you go. 20. I would say about 20 and a half. 20 and a half. What? Oh! That's awesome. Alright, so it's way this big boy. You fold the tail. Like yeah, 20 and a half. Cool, cool. Oh, sorry, big boy. No, no, no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. Where's our scale at? Oh, it's just so pretty. Alright. Jim's gonna grab the scale. Uh, he's just a little over five pounds. Yay! Nice, babe. Got you a lunker. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so stoked. Good bass. All right, we're done with them. If you are enjoying this video so far, hit the like button. Don't look at me, it's weird. Just look away. <laughs> okay, thank you. I'm gonna use your fish bait. It's red. What you got, babe? Small, small snake. We'll bring it in. Alright. <laughs> Yay, babe. Got a little bait. 
baby striper. <laughs> He's so cute. 360 GT. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy's on something. We were using a bait pole with corn, so I'm thinking it's a carp, obviously. Unlike that last time when we had that video where we caught a cat on corn and we were like, what? Yeah, it was a full rope but. It was a full rope okay. You almost dragged my pole into the water, <laughs> We didn't, we can't get the pole holders in the ground here because it's too stony. So they're sort oh, of. Oh wow, it's a little catfish, but it's got a feeling. It's a catfish? Again? Why are they hitting corn? They're so weird. He's decent. Oh wow, he's a keeper. Look at you. He's actually a decent. He's actually a pretty good sized cat, and he hit some corn. What is with the cat on the corn lately? That's insane. Good yeah, job, well, babe. Well, Look well, at you. Yes. Kitty. He's a decent little kitty. He's actually good size. I'm shocked. Let's uh, let's measure him to see how long he is. Hey, if uh, if you haven't done it yet, subscribe to our channel. <laughs> Alrighty, so we just caught us another bass on the white GT 360. Um, so that's my second bass today on that new lure. Um, but obviously it's a GT 360, which is what we're always using. So no surprises there. But that's our that's our little guy. Sweet babe. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. And that was your fishing day with us. Trying to stay away from humans and trying to stay as close to fishes as we could. I think we did a lot of good today, guys. Thank you for joining us. We had to take a moment to document in time some of our favorite memes that our fellow fishermen have created. Enjoy.